Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick. This is the Oilers Rundown. The big news today, the Edmonton Oilers have recalled Stuart Skinner, and he will join the team for tomorrow night's game against the Calgary Flames. Mike Smith is out with a stomach flu, so apparently nothing injury-related, so he'll probably only be day-to-day, and that was also Evan Bouchard's issue from yesterday. Bouchard is kind of a game-time decision for tomorrow. They're going to decide how he feels before they have to fly to Calgary tomorrow, so Bouchard could possibly be out for tomorrow night's game as well. Kyler Yamamoto wasn't on the ice today, but Jay Woodcroft said that was just a maintenance day, so we should see Yamamoto in the lineup tomorrow against Calgary. But going back to Stuart Skinner, obviously everyone's really happy that he's been called up. We don't know how long it's for. Jay Woodcroft said he's just kind of taking everything day to day, so don't know if the Oilers will carry three goaltenders when Smith is back. A lot of people want Mike Smith sent down to Bakersfield, at least for a conditioning stint. I'd be totally in favor of that. Smith's had a hell of a year with injuries, missing so much time. I don't think he's ever really gotten in proper game shape. Some time with the Bakersfield Condors would probably be really beneficial to him. It could be beneficial to the Oilers. They have two goaltenders, Kostin and Skinner, that are playing well. The Oilers are at the point now where almost every game is becoming a must-win if they want to stay in the playoff race here. They got three huge games this week against really tough opponents, so the Oilers need their top goaltending. The team as a whole has been struggling the last little while, so they really need some solid play from the goaltending to back them up. And as of now, Miko Koskinen and Stuart Skinner are the two best goaltenders the Oilers have and they should be the tandem right now. Mike Smith, send him to Bakersfield, put him on injured reserve. Best solution, find a trade. I know it's much easier said than done, but I'm not comfortable having Mike Smith and Stuart Skinner as the Oilers goaltending tandem next year. I know I'm not alone in that belief. Most of you guys feel the same way. Mike Smith could easily have a bounce back year next year, or it could get even worse, and the Oilers can't take the chance that it's going to get even worse. Yes, he played amazing for them last year, All the power to him. He earned himself a new contract. In my opinion, it should have been a one-year contract. I don't know why he got the second year. I've heard bonuses, whatever reason you want to give. I don't care. It should have been a one-year contract for Mike Smith. They should have found a way to work it that way. But here we are. He's got a two-year contract, so Ken Holland created a problem for himself. He's got to fix that problem because right now, Mike Smith and Stuart Skinner isn't a reliable goaltending tandem for next year. It's not fair to his teammates. It's not fair to Stuart Skinner. It's not fair to the city of Edmonton. Ken Holland needs to go out and find another goaltender for next year. For this season, I'm okay with the Oilers running with Koskinen and Skinner for the time being. See how it goes. But if this team wants to make the playoffs, wants to do some damage in the playoffs when they get there, I still think it would be hugely beneficial for them to target another goaltender at the deadline. I know there isn't big impact makers out there, but maybe there's someone that can provide even a little bit better goaltending. Like, the Oilers need any kind of improvement they can get. Yeah, you shouldn't pay a huge price to get it if it's not a massive upgrade, but if you can get it for a moderate price, do it. A lot of people saying last night should be Mike Smith's last game in the NHL this year. I'm kind of of the same belief as well. I think at the very least, Mike Smith should go down to Bakersfield for a conditioning stint. Yes, he's a veteran goaltender. Swallow your pride a bit. It's not the worst thing in the world. Go down. The Condors are a great team. Get your confidence up, and maybe the Oilers recall you. But right now, Mike Smith is just too hit and miss for the Oilers. He's costing them hockey games. I said it in last night's Fanatic Rundown. I'm not pinning that entire loss last night on Mike Smith, but the reality is, with two of those goals called back, He gave up six goals, yeah, because one of them was an empty net goal. So he gave up technically six goals last night. It's unacceptable. Mike Smith needs to find his game, and the Oilers can't afford to have him finding his game up here with Edmonton. The Oilers need to be winning games. The team as a whole has to be better. It's not just on the goaltending, but the goaltending has to be fixed. And right now, Mike Smith is not the solution for the Oilers. Josh Archibald was on the ice today with his teammates in practice. It's great to see him back. I certainly wish him all the best. I mean, everyone has to make their own decisions regarding the COVID shot and all that stuff. So I'm not going to get into that. But the reality is that Josh Archibald just really isn't going to be a useful player for the Oilers going forward if he's unvaccinated. So I think the Oilers should look to move him prior to the trade deadline. Put him on an American team where he can get more playing time in. The border issue won't be as big of a deal. Yes, if he was fully vaccinated, the Oilers could definitely use him. But the reality is he can basically only be a part-time player for the Oilers. So I don't really see the point keeping him here. He's going to be sitting a lot, so it's not really fair to him. 
He's not going to be useful to the Oilers. The best solution is to send him to an American team, just get future considerations back, whatever the trade has to be. I just think it's the easiest path moving forward for everyone. Just to close out today too, there is a report from the fourth period that the Oilers are linked to Anaheim Ducks left shot defenseman Hampus Lindholm. He's a UFA at the end of the year, carries a $5.2 million cap hit. I can't see the Oilers landing Lindholm. I put it up on my uh, Twitter account at Oilers Fanatic YT yesterday. The tweet got quite a bit of attention, but I just kind of threw it out there because it was information. Don't get too excited. Honestly, I don't think Campus Lindholm is coming to the Oilers. It's a pretty thin chance of that happening. But that's all for me for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Stuart Skinner's sticking around? Will the Oilers carry three goalies? Will Mike Smith only be out a short time? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great day, guys. Uh, just a heads up, too, there will be no episode of the Fanatics this week, but Mike and I should be back next week with a new episode of that. But I will have plenty of Oilers content coming your way this week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.